Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is a really cool track. It's a new song from Hosier. Uh, it's called All Things End. It's a beautiful song. It's really cool chords. Uh, hopefully develop your chord knowledge a little bit if you don't know some of these chords. So I'm gonna teach you the whole song, all the way through, all the chords, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Um, give me a like on the video, hopefully get some more views on the um, video, and I love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. If you just wanna say hi, say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from, what you're thinking of the video, and what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you wanna print the tabs off, because there's loads of chords, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, we've got lots to get through. The verse, it starts off um, straight into the verse. It sounds like this. So for that, we've got A minor seven, which is your third finger across the D, G, and the B strings at the fifth fret. So it bars the D, G, and the B at the fifth fret. Second finger over the top on E5. So the A string gets muted off. So that's A minor seven. The next chord is C7. For that, I'm putting my first finger on A3 and barring it down. So squeezing all the strings from the A string downwards. Third finger on D5. Little finger on B5. And playing the middle four strings. So we've got A minor seven. C7, and then we're gonna to go to F major seven, which is your first finger, E1, nearer to your face. Second finger on B1. Third finger on D2, and little finger, fourth finger, just underneath it on G2. Mute off the A string with the first finger, and we're gonna play from the E string down to the B string, so that's F major seven. So the first bar, you got So the A minor seven lasts for two beats, the C seven lasts for one and a half beats, then you jump to the F major seven on beat four and. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that holds through the next bar. Then bar number three, we've got D minor seven. So D minor seven, first finger barred from the A string at the fifth fret. Second finger on B six third finger on D7. Play the middle four strings. Then you just slide up two frets to the seventh fret with your first finger, second finger on eight on the B string, third finger on D9, and we end up at E minor seven. Then it jumps back to A minor seven. So bars three and four go. Two, three, four. So the whole line, we've got Four. Two, three, four. Now that line repeats, so you play it twice. And then, so that's the verse. You go on to the next line, which I've called the bridge. And it starts the same as the verse. So A minor seven, C seven, F major seven. Then D minor seven, E minor seven. But then instead of going back to A, uh, minor seven, you go up to F major seven, but we're gonna play it up here. So, first finger on A8, second finger on G9, third finger D10, and little finger on B10. Play the middle four strings, so that's F major seven. Then it jumps back to E minor seven, and then we're gonna to go to an E flat diminished seventh chord which is a strange chord, first finger on G5, second finger A6, third finger D7, little finger on the B7. Play the middle four strings, so E flat diminished seventh. So that's going on beat four and um, of bar eight, and lasting into the next bar. Um, and then let's just like learn those last two chords, A flat, First finger barred across all the strings at the fourth fret. Second finger on G5. Third finger A6. Little finger on D6. So that's A flat. Then move down one fret to a G chord. 
So the A flat lasts for a whole bar and then the G chord lasts for a whole bar as well. Okay, so the whole line of that bridge goes like this. Hopefully that makes sense. That takes us to the chorus, which would get this. So for that F major seven, then it goes down to an E seven, first finger on G one, second finger A two, hit all the strings, and then there's a little passing note of G sharp, which is uh, the fourth fret of the E string. So you've got this. Um, and you could add a bit of extra rhythm. So kind of maybe two hits on the F major seven. Uh, then A minor seven for two beats, and then G minor seven, which is the same shape as your A minor seven, but at the third fret. Okay, and then we go to C nine. First finger on D2, second finger A3, and then third finger across the G3 and the B3. Or you could use your third finger and your little finger, whichever you prefer. So that's C9. And uh, those first two bars repeat three times. So uh, without any rhythm, it goes like this. You might want to put a bit of extra rhythm goes. So kind of just putting extra, filling in the gaps. Um, so they repeat three times, and then you carry on and play F major seven for a whole bar. And then an E chord for a whole bar, which is your first finger on B1. So first finger on G1, second finger A2, third finger D2. And that lasts for a whole bar. So F major seven for a bar. Two, three, and then E for a bar. One, two, three, four. Um, it then goes to the verse, um, exactly the same as the verse was before, but it, it misses out some of the chords, but you, you, you should be able to hear it. It's all in time, um, but I think it just misses like out the A minor seven, maybe the C seven goes in at the F major seven, but it's the same idea. You could just play the verse chord straight through it. And then after that second verse, um, we've got another bridge, which is the same as the first bridge, but we've just got one extra chord. So after the E flat diminished, uh, so we're in bar twen uh, 20, so we've done the E flat diminished like we did before, it then jumps to a D minor seven chord, and then the A flat, and then the G chord. So just one extra chord in there. So let's play the bridge, here we go. Okay, so that's the second bridge, just got that extra D minor seven in there. Uh, and then we've got another chorus, which starts exactly the same, the first um, two bars, uh, yeah, first two bars repeat three times, like it did before. So that repeats three times, and then it's slightly different, you go F major seven for a bar, then D minor seven for a bar, back to F major seven, D minor seven, E7. So you've got bar of F major 7, bar of D minor 7, bar of F major 7, bar of D minor 7, bar of E7. Um, and then we go on to the next line, which is the key change. Um, and there's a rest on beat 1, it goes rest. So you've got a G chord. You can play a normal G chord, or I've done a bar G chord. Then F sharp 7 which is your first finger barred across all the strings at the second fret, second finger on G3, and third finger A5. So F sharp seven, then a passing note of E6, then B minor seven, 
which we're going to use the same shape as A minor 7, but up two frets. So second finger E7, third finger across D, G, and the B strings at the seventh fret. Then A minor 7 to D9, same as we did in the previous key, going G minor 7 to C9. We've now got A minor 7 to D9, because it's all gone up a tone. Then G major 7, again, same shape as the F major 7, but up two frets. Then F7, passing note of E6, B minor 7, then A minor 7, and then D9. And then those last two bars just repeat three times. Um, so if we just play that line, uh, I won't repeat it round three times, I'll just play it once um, round, but you get the idea of it. So here we go, one, two, three, four, rest. And then you just carry on and play the last two bars another two times. Uh, and then that's the end of the, well actually it's the end of the song with chords, um, but then it's just a cappella just sings till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this song. I think it's a cool song. I love the chords. Um, it's a beautiful song. So let me know what you think of the song. Let me know uh, what songs I should do next. Let me know where in the world you're watching this from, because it's kind of crazy for me to be making these videos and people are watching them all around the world. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing this, um, and you want to print the tabs off, then I'll put them on my Patreon site, um, or Patreon page, I should say, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.